Let's go to our next story. Oh. Today in Washington, <laughs> D.C., uh, all the attention was on Supreme Court nominee Judge Brett Kavanaugh. The question was, who would vote for him? Who would vote against him? After today's closure vote, uh, it was Senator Lisa Murkowski of Alaska who said she was not going to be voting for Brett Kavanaugh. She voted uh, against enclosure. But, you, of course, you had Arizona Senator Jeff Flake uh, as well as Maine Senator Susan Collins both voted for him. Well, it was at 3 p.m. Eastern when Susan Collins announced in a long-winded one-hour speech, which could have been very simple, where she said that she was going to vote for Brett Kavanaugh on the Supreme Court. But then she also said, which was very weird, that she also believed Dr. Christine Ford, which was kind of weird that you believed her, but then you said there was nothing there to say Kavanaugh did it. Okay, that made no sense whatsoever. And then shortly after she made that decision, it was Democrat Joe Manchin of West Virginia who came out and said he was going to vote for. So as it stands right now, if all of these votes line up, he will be confirmed with a 51-49 vote. Uh, Mitch McConnell, you remember him, the one who held open the Supreme Court seat for 243 days after Merrick Garland was appointed by President Barack Obama. Here's what he had to say. All right, so, uh, we, so we don't have sound of McConnell. Uh, again, there were, there were a lot of folks who were angry, shouting in the hallways of Congress, uh, left and right. Let's go to our panel here. Uh, and, uh, Brandon, when I was reading, you were clapping. Oh, no, on <laughs> the vote that confirmed them again. Elections have consequences, and I understand that you may people have different philosophical differences with Brett Kavanaugh's record. But at the end of the day, I think the high politicization of this process is a shame. It's new law in politics, and I'm hopeful that as Susan Collins says, I'm not, you know, really hopeful on it, but maybe it does happen, that we kind of end this uh, partisan bickering that's going on. I'm used to having it in the legislative branch and the executive branch, but not so much judicial branch. Um, again, you talk about the Merrick Garland who was held up again. That's a rightful in the past to be upset about. But Merrick Garland and Brett Kavanaugh uh, served in the court at the same time, D.C. D.C. Circuit Court. They share 97 percent of the opinions. They were on the same side. So this idea that Brett Kavanaugh was some type of radical... Uh, you know, extremist vote. It was not, this was a display of politics that so we saw the so, they, so if they shared 97% of the time, why in the hell did Republicans give Merrick Garland a, a I, hearing? Right. The, I, I, right. I don't, I'm not saying I agree with that. Again, that's politics at play. No, 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 no wait, 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 politics at play. No, no, hold on a second, yeah. hold on a second. So, if you criticize the politics of Democrats right no, I said, now. There both we sides. go. I said both sides. Okay, both okay. Sides. Were, were Republicans wrong yes. to not give Merrick Garland a hearing and take uh, an up or down yes. vote? Yes. 100%. I said that many times. They should have voted. If you want to vote no, vote no. But I believe that the president, whether it's Obama or Trump, the Constitution gives them great leeway. That's the consequence of election. And the only thing that the Senate should do is advise and consent on the qualifications. And we've seen it not just this year, right. but the past 20 years, a slow drip towards partisanship in this process. When it's you, know, you know what? I just think it's really shameful that you're here talking about philosophies and ideologies when we all know that the opposition against Kavanaugh was not based upon that. It was really based upon largely now what we're talking about, what has led to the dramatics and the sitcom-like rolling out that we have seen within the last week has been because of the accusations levied against him. So as a woman, and I am looking at you and I'm just yeah. raising my eyebrows because we are continuously under attack. We have a woman, Dr. Ford, who came forth and said, this is what happened to me. On top of that, we also have individuals that he went to school with saying that the Brett Kavanaugh that he categorized himself to be is not who he was. On both so sides. excuse me, On let me sides. finish. Okay. Let me finish. So what I think is the issue here is the fact that no matter what, Republicans are going to vote for him even if his character is is extremely flawed. Even an ex-Supreme Court justice came out and said he does not deserve to be on the bench. So what I'm saying to you today is you can throw around Merrick Garland, you could throw around partisan politics. Yes, I believe that that's a play here, but what's okay. dominant here is that this man is going to attack everything that I stand for as a woman and that is problematic. Okay, but Susan Collins is a woman as well, so she's part of that. So I understand yeah, but she's a Republican. She's a Republican. Oh, okay. so they don't matter. They don't matter. No, but no, 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 don't do that. Don't put words in my mouth because You're I didn't saying, say that. I okay, didn't say I'm that. Woman, I didn't I'm, say that. You pulled That's the woman right. card, and I, I, I'm saying I, I, again, I, did. I can't pull that card, but I'm pointing to Susan Collins. But back to your point, you're saying that this is about the accusations. Then why did the Democrat senators come out against 
this nominee the day he was nominated, way before the allegation came forward. So I understand you're saying that. Did you not hear what I just all, said? You said this I said was within all the last. The no, that's not what I said. Brandon, said Brandon, Brandon, that's not what I just said. Brandon, you did. I said within the Brandon, last week. Brandon, Brandon, did Brandon, didn't that. you earlier? Yeah. Brandon, didn't what? you earlier say politics? I mean, no, I'm saying, but you're trying to make Brandon, this Brandon, 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 who, if this was a Democratic president, Republicans would Thank would have cut. First of all, I hold agree. up, hold up. Let's, let, let, hold up. Let's remember, sides. it was Senator Ted Cruz, Senator Ted Cruz, Republican Ray Baker, who said, if Hillary Clinton wins the presidency, we should leave the Supreme Court at eight mm. and keep the seat open mm. for four years. Both sides have it. Ray Baker. I'm not going to pick on our friend Brandon there for uh, facts, the both sides the talk that he does, because that seems okay. to be our Republican <laughs> friends only way to justify what we would call a questionable political behavior. But I will say this, and this oh, is something no, to keep in mind. No, no, hell no. Ain't no three against one. Yeah, no. I'm simply asking you a question. And I it's said not three against sides, one. So sides. stop all that. No, 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 hold on. Stop whining about three. No, no, don't whine about three. No, don't whine about don't whine about three against one. When here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you know how to debate. I don't care if it's 10 against one, I'm going to take on all y'all. Right. So don't and mind I, about three against one. Right. Ray Baker, go ahead. That's right. I come here every time. Ray, go ahead. I will say this, though, and this is for Brandon, this is for every Republican mm -hmm. or conservative who sides with Judge Kavanaugh, who sides ostensibly with President Trump. Mm -hmm. To side with Judge Kavanaugh, to side with President Trump, does not indict you yourself of being a sexist. It does tell the rest of us, though, that sexism isn't a problem for you. That's right. And that's problematic for a number of us. That's problematic for me. Mm -hmm. That's problematic clearly for Dr. Acefo. Mm -hmm. And that's clearly not problematic for Susan Collins. And I understand that you referenced her. But Dr. Lawrence Brown of Morgan State University tells us that identity is not the only thing that matters when it comes to representation. Okay. You can't have diversity for sake of appearance if that diversity is still representing the hierarchical oppression of the power class. Oh. Susan Collins epitomizes this time and time again. So we have to say that. The second point we have to say is that Mr. Kavanaugh has demonstrated by according to the American Bar Association and according to a number of other neutral judicial parties that he would be a rather conservative, in fact, more extreme, more than Judge Gorsuch, more than Justice Alito, more than Justice Roberts, yeah. Supreme Court Justice. Now, to your point of elections having consequences, fair enough. So they do. So too does voter suppression have consequences. So if we're going to talk about who won elections, and if we're going to bring this back to elections, then let's have a wide macro level skip with that conversation. But I don't imagine that's something that our Republican friends want to do because they overwhelmingly be the, are the ones who tend to rig the electoral game. Mm -hmm. So if we want to have that conversation, we're not going to have it in a will both sides do wrong kind of way. We're going to have it in an honest and sincere kind of way. And those who are wrong have to be wrong. And those those who just don't have that much of a problem with sexism have to be honest about that. Okay. Brandon? Okay, two points to that. You said ABA, American Bar Association, they gave them a unanimous approval, their highest rating, for Judge Kavanaugh. Brandon, so Bra oh, oh, Bra 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 Brandon, he brought up Brandon, 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 Brandon okay. are you leaving something out? Yeah, cut it off again. What did I say? Are you leaving something yes. out? They yes. Are, you, yes, are, you, are you leaving something I out? I'm not. They reopened it this Ray? week. Ray? Yes. They said that they were going to reopen investigation and relook at re how they rated him, given the new information they found out about him. So yes, Brandon, finish? when no, they no, first no, nominated no, no, Brett Kavanaugh, no, 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 no
don't appoint Kavanaugh, right. not because he wasn't conservative, but because of a long paper trail serving the Bush administration. I understand but this, this whole, this, this, not, back to July. This, this idea that he's not conservative my enough. Friend. Bro, come on. My, my bro, come on. As <laughs> someone who is a conservative, go Brandon, back. Brandon, Brandon, he go was, in. Brandon, okay, here we go. he was perfectly, I'm listening. he was raised listen. up by the Federalist Society. What are you talking about? Because, Roland, I'm telling you is this. If you go to conservative <laughs> activist lawyers like Mark Levin, who was a, a attorney general Chief of Staff under Reagan. Okay. The criticism from the right, not your side. I understand that you. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me help and you out. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me help with your, right. with, with, with your little your side. Let me finish. First of all, it's not my side. Okay. Because see, I know folks on your side. Yes. I know folks on Ray's side. Right. Mm. I don't. I don't see. I don't play the side. Let game. me know when I can finish my thought. No, 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 no. I'll okay. let you finish. Okay. But I'm going to come and correct you. Okay. See, I don't play the side game. Mm -hmm. The side I'm on is truth, mm -hmm. and the truth is. Brett Kavanaugh is a far right wing conservative judge. <laughs> no, Brett okay. Kavanaugh, okay. when he was being okay. when he was being uh, doing the testimony, mm -hmm. he said two in the hearing. He said, "I'm a Republican, I'm a conservative Republican, mm -hmm. and I am a supporter of George W. Bush." His own words. Yes. Okay, can I finish now? Okay. Go. Okay, go back to this again. I understand you want to throw out words like far right man. I know that's a buzzword, a trigger word. Come on. There's no definition to that. Again, Stop let me finish. Can I finish? It's a fact. Stop let me go it. back. Can I finish my thought? You're debating facts. I get a facts. thought through. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Brandon. Brandon. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. Well, go no, ahead. No, hold on, with it. Through. Go ahead. Go, get go, go ahead. Explain to me no. how he somehow is moderate. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is this word has no definition. First off. Secondly, I'm pointing out the fact. Oh, it got definition. It does not. First off, I'm pointing out the fact also was that when Judge Kavanaugh was first appointed to DC court, he had to go through the Senate too. Was this divisive then? No, he got over 80% of the vote. Oh, With hell, Brandon, 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 no, Brand, no, Brand, do you want to go I there? Go Loretta, go Loretta Lynch, oh, Loretta Lynch Lord. sailed through twice yes. in the United States Senate. Yes. Republicans held up her. Again, no, 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 one I second, one times, second. Both sides are but, but, don't so, point me so don't, don't whine no, by saying, no, Brandon, no, what you're doing, Brandon, you're saying, oh, my God, he's he got 80% of the votes. You would know as I know, when you go higher up, especially the Supreme Court, it's a different level of focus. Caliber. Okay, y'all want to pretend like he's some controversial pick. He is controversial, and every time you say that, every time you say that, it's a in the face. Wendy, okay. Wendy, Wendy, oh, Wendy oh, make your comment. Okay, Ray Baker, yeah. Brandon, final comment. My, my, go ahead. My, my, Brandon, my, Brandon, my, I said Wendy, go. My, my comment is you were, I do agree with you on one thing. Elections do have consequences. And now what we have to do is we have to know that the end of the day, November, is going to be a key moment for a lot of people. When people say, why does Kavanaugh matter? Why does this things matter? We have Supreme Court cases that are not even up yet that this guy is going to oversee. So yes, Kavanaugh is going to sit on the bench. But I want you guys to remember things like Madison versus Alabama, where it's going to decide whether an individual who is incarcerated can be executed if he has a mental disorder. Order. We're going to think about Nielsen v. Prep, where it decides issues around immigration. So, yes, all of these things matter. So we have to make sure that we're not just looking at Kavanaugh in a vacuum, but to understand the bigger picture, which is he is going to sit on the bench and decide a lot of key votes. And that matters. So, yes, elections have consequences. Ray Baker. I'm curious that there are more people than simply Judge Brett Kavanaugh who would do such things, such, in my opinion, heinous things, as roll back Roe v. Ro v. Wade and things of the sort. But why must they choose a man who, by many intents and purposes, is a sexual assaulter to are. do this? And so if my question becomes, if this is so important to you ideologically, because there's not anyone who's never committed a sexual assault that you could find to do this. Is there not anyone who did not have a habitual raging beer drinking problem mm -hmm. in undergrad or in their high school years that you could find to do this? Is there not anyone with any type of moral upstanding character from the party of personal responsibility that you could find to do this job? Brandon, final comment. Just two points on this again. I understand you like to throw around Roe v. Wade and all this other stuff like that, and I agree. That is an important precedent that's been established. But this same argument was made against Souter. And again, please don't interrupt me. A Republican nominee who was appointed. The, uh, what is it called? Planned Parenthood and all those organizations actually had pens saying that uh, deaf uh, women will die 
if Souter is nominated, he actually ended up voting to reaffirm the pro-life uh, precedent. That's what I think we're Are you saying Kavanaugh is Souter? No, no. No, what I'm saying is, again, the same arguments that my friend Ray Baker is making, the same exaggerations that, oh, my God, if he's appointed, they're going to get rid of Roe v. Wade. That is dusted off from the same argument they used against another problem. I'm sorry. I mean, I, 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 20 years I, I, ago. Are these the same? That, hold on, hold on. But that nominee ended up reaffirming that. So all I'm saying did, is did, did, this fear did, did, that Ray side, Walker is trying to did, play did your is side, great, did your but side, it's been proven wrong did, in the past. Didn't your side say Kagan is so my or didn't did, you say your side didn't your side say Katie and so it's Kagan and so did my or would uh they were gonna take all the guns so now we're doing both sides again no I'm asking you a question and I agree both sides I'm gonna make sure I'm very clear to everyone that's watching both sides play okay. politics I never ran away from that but we're okay. talking right Brandy, now about Brad, Brad Kavanaugh okay Luckily, Ray Barker if I can just finish with this yeah go ahead I know Real we don't want to play the identity card you did the women card earlier as a black man all I can say is this I understand you in your mind these accusations that the FBI have found are not corroborated are set in stone as fact. There has been no corroboration. Let days. me finish. There have been okay, no. <laughs> back up. There's been no corroboration presented over the past five weeks of this circus in the Senate. I'm not saying that That's it didn't happen, didn't it? Because I wasn't there. Okay. What I'm saying is that the accusations that are uncorroborated from anyone, even people that she said were in the room. Her okay. lifelong friend, who said she, was, she said was in the room, came out and sworn to I got you. and said that she does not recall it happening. So All right, folks. Is just jump to conclusions. Okay, with well, well it's, it's very simple. I still find it be very yeah. interesting when a Senator Collins says that, oh, I believe that she was sexually assaulted. But was it, like, out of air? So who did it? Yeah, I thought so. All right, folks. <laughs>